Good morning, children! Our topic for Math 4 is all about solving problems involving multiplication of whole numbers. Okay, again, solving problems involving multiplication of whole numbers. With a learning target, solve word problems involving multiplication of whole numbers, including money. Are you ready? Let's begin! Before we'll start, let's find the product of the following. Number 1. 89 times 23 equals... Very good! It's 2047. Number 2. 352 times 55 equals... Absolutely! It's 19,360. How about number 3? 340 times 21 equals... Very good! It's 7,140. To officially start our lesson, let's have first our problem. Aling Nena sells a caravan of rice for 1,750 pesos. If 25 caravans of rice were sold today, how much was Aling Nena's income today? Do you know the answer? Let's explore. This is the procedure. What are the guide questions that we need to answer in order for us to find the solution to a problem? Here are the guided questions. First, what are the given facts? Second, what is asked in the problem? Third, what is the operation to be used? Fourth, what is the number sentence? And last, what is the answer to the problem? Using these guided questions, we can solve the problem. Are you ready? Let's begin! Here is the problem. First thing to do is to answer the first guide question. What are the given facts? Aling Nena sold 25 gavans of rice for 1,750 pesos each. That is the given facts from the problem. Number 2. What is asked in the problem? What is being asked in the problem? How much was Aling Nena's income today? That is the question inside the problem. Three, what is the operation to be used? The operation to be used is simply the multiplication process. Number four, what is the number sentence? Number sentence means the equation to be used. So the number sentence is equivalent to 1750 times 25. Fifth, what is the answer to the problem? Since we already have the number sentence or the equation 1750 times 25, let's do the multiplication process. 0 times 5 equals 0. 5 times 5 equals 25 carry 2. 7 times 5 equals 35 plus 2. 37 carry 3. 1 times 5 equals 5 plus 3 equals 8. 0 times 2 equals 0. 5 times 2 equals 10. Carry 1. 7 times 2 equals 14 plus 1 equals 15. Carry 1. 1 times 2 equals 2. Plus 1 equals 3. Then, let's add. Therefore, the answer is 43,750 pesos aling nena's income today. Here 
here is another example. Janela both 2 kilograms of pork at 190 pesos per kilogram. How much change did she receive if she gave a 500 peso bill to the cashier? Let's answer. To answer the problem, let's follow again the guide questions. Number one, what are the given facts? Janela bought 2 kilos of pork at 190 pesos per kilo and gave a 500 peso bill to the cashier. Second, what is asked in the problem? How much is Janela's change? Third, what is the hidden question? This problem needs to operation in order to get the exact solution. Therefore, we need to find the hidden question. And the hidden question is, how much is Janela's total bill? Therefore, we need to get first the total bill of Janela's pork in order to know how much her change when she gave a 500 peso bill. Fourth, what are the operations to be used? The operations to be used are multiplication and subtraction. As I said, that this problem needs two operation in order to get the exact solution. What is the number sentence? Number sentence means the equation itself. In order to get the exact answer, we need to multiply first 190 pesos times 2 kilograms. Afterwards, Let's subtract it from 500. Therefore, the equation is 500 minus 190 times 2. What is the answer to the problem? We need to multiply first 190 pesos times 2 kilograms. 0 times 2 equals 0. 9 times 2 equals 18 carry 1. 1 times 2 equals 2 plus 1 equals Therefore, the answer is 380 pesos, the cost of 2 kilograms of pork. So this time, we will now subtract from 500. 500 minus 380 equals 0 minus 0 equals 0. 0 minus 8 Cannot be, therefore, we will borrow 1 from 5, therefore, 0 becomes 10 and 5 becomes 4. 10 minus 8 equals 2 and 4 minus 3 equals 1. Therefore, 120 pesos is Janela's change. Did you get it? Very good! To make things easy, let's remember the mathematical ideas. To solve word problems, we need to answer the following. What are the given facts? What is asked in the problem? What is the operation to be used? What is the number sentence? And what is the answer to the problem? For multi-step word problems, we need to identify and answer the hidden questions. Let's check your understanding. At the back of your worksheet, solve and write your solution. Number 1. In a poultry farm, there are 2,575 chickens. Each chicken lays an average of 75 eggs in a year. How many eggs can be harvested in a farm in a year? Follow the guided questions. Carla saved 1,250 pesos a month for 24 months. She bought an air conditioning unit for 24,800 pesos. 
how much was left of her savings. Follow again the guided questions. Are you ready? Let's begin! Thank you for listening! Goodbye!